Welcome back to Always Learning. What are we doing today? Well, today we're uh, learning how to saddle hunt. And I've talked to a lot of people and they'll, I'll say, I'm going to go practice my saddle hunting. And they're like, from a horse? It's like, no, saddle hunting, actually saddle is a term that you talk about that uh, hunters will refer to as we're going to go hunt this saddle. And what they're talking about is a low ridge between two peaks or two other points. So if you think of your hips, as the peaks, then the saddle goes uh, basically under your butt and you hang from a tether from a tree and you hunt. The advantage of saddle hunting is, is basically almost every tree on your property is a potential hunting stand for you. And you can put it up in 12 minutes, take it down 12 minutes, move, but 12 minutes you're up a tree and hunting. And so um, there's a couple components that you need for saddle hunting and we're gonna go through all of those done it's got a bridge when you get to the top of the tree you're going to hook a tether to and that's what you're going to hang from now it's also got um, these harnesses on the side or these basically kind of loops and these loops are for your lineman's belt and um, it also has straps to go um, around your legs up through your crotch but I'll tell you a lot of people after they've saddle hunted for a long time they simply wear the saddle they don't wear the straps underneath i do because if i do something stupid um these are to protect me from myself basically the nice thing about saddle hunting when you have this on from the ground to 20 feet up in the air to coming down you are always attached to the tree where if you're hunting from a stand a lot of guys climb up and then they tether in or they they put the back uh strap around uh, to their harness before they're in, but there's a lot of things that can happen going up and going down or just when you're up in the tree. So this is a safer method to do it, but you're going to need one of these. I, the first year I just got a rock climbing harness and it worked okay. It just pinched a lot and it wasn't comfortable. I've sat in this thing probably six or seven times for over five hours and it was kind of just like sitting in a little swing really to be honest with you. Uh, I've got pouches on the side of it. Um, this one holds my lineman's belt, so it's always attached to the front loop. And then this holds my tether, which once I get up to the tree, I'll attach it and take my lineman's belt out. But you're gonna need a saddle. And then the next thing you're gonna need to get up a tree is these are climbing sticks. And this is how I've kind of got them in here. I'll pull them out real quick. Okay, the first thing you're going to need is a saddle. And a saddle is basically, if you look at it, it's basically a climbing harness. So this, this is basically like a belt that goes around your waist. Like if you climb rock climbing, it's got a clasp that clasps in front um, that's going to go around your waist. It just locks in there. And then in the front, once you've get that, got that, just to show you uh, what one looks like and kind of how it works. They're pretty simplistic. So each climbing stick is basically the same. It's gonna have either one or two on each side, uh, basically steps going up like some have one on this side then one on this side this is a double step this is muddy outdoors um, it's a little heavier but I'll carry the extra weight in just so I can have more stabilities because these really grip to the tree what you're gonna do is you're gonna put this up against the tree this is what's gonna grip it you're gonna most of them almost all sticks you go around the tree you've got some kind of apparatus that it hooks into and then you tie off to and then basically you snug it against the tree. So gravity helps hold it and these bite in it. And then the string secures it. This is just a little paracord I put on there. So I can actually, when I'm climbing, um, you're gonna have the first step up there and then I'm gonna take this paracord and I've got loops on my saddle uh, that I'll hook them on so I can climb them as I go up. I'll pull them off and, and put them on. Um, and that's really about it. Most people use about four of them. They also have these things called aiders that I'll show you here in a little bit. They basically loop around and there's all different uh, forms of aiders, different lengths. 
and I run about a 12 inch one because I got short, short strides and it just gives you kind of like an extra step so I can space these farther apart. Then the last thing you're going to need is simply a platform of some kind. Now, some people, uh, if they're just going for a short hunt, they may stand on the last step on their sticks and hunt off of that. Some guys will carry what's called a ring of steps. They're just little rubber footholds that you can put around the tree, secure it with a ratchet or a strap, and then you can uh, put your feet on that and actually walk around the tree. Um, these, you can make them at any angle, but once you get up to your top step or your top uh, stick, you'll set this to the side, wrap this around the tree, secure it, pull it down, and then this gives you a platform to stand on and kind of lean that I'll show you in a little bit. So that's what you need. You need a saddle, um, some kind, maybe you can just get a climbing harness if you want one. You're going to need a lineman's belt. You're going to need a tether. You're going to need climbing sticks, step aiders if you want them, and then a platform. And these are super lightweight. I had a bigger one because everybody told me if you're going from stand hunting to saddle hunting, you're going to want to, you'll feel more comfortable with a bigger stand but it wouldn't fit in my backpack. And so I got this tethered predator and uh, I'm gonna try it this year. It's lighter, it fits in my backpack. So literally when I go into the field, I should just have a backpack, my bow, and then my climbing sticks. I just wear my harness, I mean my saddle because it doesn't take up hardly any weight. I hardly any feel it. Don't even really know it's there. And then once I get to the tree, I set my sticks down, tie my, tie my bow to it, uh, paracord I'm going to pull it up with and I'm I'm climbing and in 12 minutes I'm I've got everything up off the ground I'm 20 feet up in the air and I'm hunting so that's what you're going to need and so we'll kind of walk through kind of what the concept is real quick I'm not going to go high today I'm just going to go up a couple steps and kind of show you what it looks like and give you like I said it's just kind of an introductory saddle hunting because people kind of actually know what it is so um, that's what we're going to do Okay, so what you got going on in your saddle here is you've got your, this is your bridge, the rope here. Sometimes you won't have an actual buckle. Some of them, it's just another bridge, um, kind of as a belt rope that's got these Prusik knot here that you can tighten it. And that's probably what I should have gone with. I, this is pretty heavy. I don't really need it, but I was kind of worried about it, so I went with overkill. And then you've got your leg straps. So you can just kind of set it on the ground get your bridge and your rope, get your um, leg straps kind of in there, put your feet in. It's kind of like putting on a, uh, putting on a climbing har uh, ladder harness. Pull it up so you got your feet in there, and then you're simply gonna pull it up to around your waist. And then once you get it up there, you're just gonna grab the belt and you're gonna tighten it and you're ready to go. So like I said, the components of the harness is you've got your bridge, you've got your belt. This is what your tether is going to hook to. You've got your straps here that your lineman belt's going to hook to. Um, that's going to go around the tree, hook to this, and then you can you can use your ropeman one or a Prusik knot um, to make it smaller and tighter so you're against the tree and you're using that rope to climb. And then you've got the pouches on the side, and I've got clips to where I can hang my um, sticks on. I'll put one on each side and then off the back I'll put a, I've got another clip that I'll put in here that I'll um, attach my platform to. So when I go up the tree I've got all my sticks on me, I've got all my platform, I've got my backpack on and then the only thing left is from the ground is I'll pull my bow up when the, the last final thing and then I'm ready to hunt. All right, so once you've kind of picked out your tree and kind of where your target is, where you want to trail, you want to cover, and what you think, you're going to take your climbing stick and you're just going to attach it however high you want. I usually don't go very high because, like I said, my steps are pretty short on the first one, but I'll put my aider on the inside here. I'll put this against the tree fairly high, like if I can step up here without looking like like too much of a thing. I'll set that here. Like I said, a lot of people are going all the way up here. I, I start the first one pretty small. I don't really care whether I get 20 feet or not. You set this around the tree. It'll come around it. You want to go higher, up high, because you're going to cinch it. 
And then essentially you're coming into, I'll set it over here, I guess, so you can kind of see what I'm doing. It's kind of meant to climb here, but we'll, we'll make it work. It goes in these two little notches that I'll show you a close up of. And then you're going to want to tie a, a hitch over here where you kind of go through once. There's plenty of videos out there, but it's just two quick knots, so then, and then you cinch it down. I want to get straight on the tree and then you're going to take your lineman's belt I take it out of my pouch here go around the tree and you want to you're going to want to climb using your rope I mean a lot of people kind of want to grab onto it what I'll do sometimes is I'll go ahead and I'll set I'll set a step shorter like up here so I can grab onto it and kind of climb Kind of use it as like a little cheater and then once i get up on this one then i just take it off and move it up again get the steps down i don't need this so i'm going to put it in my pouch for now okay i'll just set this up here because like i said i'm just using it to climb I'm just using it as a cheater. I'm going to take my lineman's belt. Like I said, I'm just using it to help me climb. I'm going to go around the tree. Hook it onto the other loop right here. So that I'm safe. Let out a little slack. If I can get my big get back. You get your foot in there, and if you can see it, I got it in there straight. So I'm towed in the tree, and then you're simply going to cinch up your line and move this up so you can kind of get leverage. Now, all my weight, all my weight is against this line. And then I use this, and I'm just going to, so I'm coming in. Okay, I could use this just to pull up on it, but for me, I feel better just grabbing this. So I grab this, I use this to pull up to this first one, okay? Not very high off the ground, but I bring my lineman's belt up high. Cinch it tight with the ropeman's one, and I'm leaning in. Now I'll take this one off, climb up on the next step, You're safe to the tree. You're hanging with the lineman's belt. Then you go up as high as you feel comfortable with. Out uh, here. Pull out my aider. Put the aider on. Go around the tree. There's a branch there, you want to go over it. Like I said, not the most experienced at it, but it's pretty easy. Cinch that tight, put the hitch in. Going down the same way. Got to stand here, but since I've got the lineman's belt, I go up as high as I can. Then I'm simply going to lean down, work my way down. That's it, take your sticks as you go. You're going to take your platform off and you're still attached with the lineman's belt. I'm going to make this thing snug. 
A lot of people at this point will go ahead and take their tether out um, and attach it as well. The tether is basically just a big loop going around the tree. Um, and then I've got a Prusik knot right here instead of the open one that you can, to constrict or not, you can slide depending on how big your tree is. I'm going to go around the tree and get this up. I like it, I like it above my head or right kind of at my head. You slide everything through, cinch it tight, okay? So it's hanging tight. And you're going to slide the Prusik knot down and attach the carabiner to your bridge. And then get your Prusik knot up, like I said, where it kind of you want everything. Everything's kind of tight. And then you can loosen your lineman's belt. And as you can see, I'm hanging here off the bridge, off the tether. And that's what's going to hang me for the rest of my hunt. Um, you, can, you can leave the lineman's belt on if you want, but like I said, you're secure. So now I'm going to take the platform. I'm double secured. And I, you want the platform. I just want a little bit above where I'm at. So I'll put it this way. It's kind of awkward because it's the tree slanted a little bit, but it just has a two loops basically that connect it. You're gonna go around the tree. It's just got a little push clasp. Just gonna tighten that strap, get it nice and tight, and then I'm gonna cinch the tree down. If it doesn't bite real well, I'm gonna cinch it again, and bite it into the tree. If it doesn't work, cinch it again, bite it in the tree, and then tie it off. Now at this the end of the tree, and it doesn't have to be perfect, like I said, you got this tether here. I'm gonna go ahead and undo my lineman's belt. I'm gonna put it away in the pouch. Move it up a little higher. Then I'm going to simply test out my platform. Step up on it. Move my tether up. Like I said, you can play with this and put kind of this wherever you kind of want it. Like I said, and you're pretty much hanging. You want it where you're just hanging a little, you slide your Prusik knot up. I'm just hanging here. I can shoot over here. I can shoot back here. I can move around the tree if I want over here and shoot. Um, swing all the way around here if you want. So like I said, even if this platform slips, I'm still on the tree. I can pull myself up, reattach it, because you're hanging on it. That's it. Go down, you just do it in reverse. Put my lineman's belt on, slide down. Around my lineman's belt. Got that in. Step off. Lower my loosen my Prusik knot.
take it off. Put it in the bag. I like to carry my tether with me just in a pouch so if I have a branch I got to go around I can put the tether on take my alignments put it back around and still secure the tree like I said going back down take the platform off Put it on the clip and back, and ready for the final descent. And like I said, these aiders are a little tricky because you kind of got to dangle and put your foot in them. That's why you got to practice. That's it. That's saddle hunting. Alright, here we go. Here's start from finish. Um, me climbing up the tree. I just went with three sticks to go up. The tree started to bow, so it really didn't make, or bend, so it really didn't make sense to go up with four sticks. But you can see I got about, I don't know, um, 13, 14 feet in the air. So if I got another stick, I'd be 18 and then go to the platform another two. So I'd be up somewhere around 20 feet. But the only um, critique I'd have as far as me climbing, I got better as I went in the day. Like I said, it's only probably my 10th climb, but I got better as I, as I went, as I got used to using the aiders and pulling up on the lineman's belt rather than trying to um, pull myself up just to use the lineman's belt as a way to pull against the tree to go up. And by the time, the, the third time I did it, um, it was a lot effortless to go up and a lot um, less strained just if you use that belt. The other thing is, is once I got up on the stick, um, in the future, I would cinch up my lineman's belt and get that tied. As you can see from the video, it dropped around my where my feet were, which is not a safe environment to be. You always want that lineman's belt to be um, at your waist or higher as you're climbing and even when you're resting so that if you would fall back, it would um, catch you. So anyway, that's it. But uh, like I said, saddle hunting, I think it adds another dimension to your, your hunting game and just makes you um, more mobile, you know, as you get later in the season and you're seeing, you're seeing deer later in the day, uh, especially as the sun starts setting, but they're not getting in within bow range. This gives you the ability to move your stand without really putting pressure on the deer. You can get really close to that bedding area, or that feeding area pretty silently and pretty quickly. Like I said, I, uh, I've only done this maybe 10 times, maybe 12 times, and every time I do it, I get a little faster. And <clears throat> I was able to get up this tree with three sticks um, in about 10 minutes. Um, so add another five minutes to, to put another stick and a platform up and 15 minutes I could be hunting. Like taking it down is even faster. So if you need to move during the day, that gives you the flexibility as well. But um, anyway, I just suggest you give it a try. It's, al it's also fun. It's another aspect of hunting. Um, Climbing is actually pretty fun um, to do. It makes you feel like a kid again. So one of the other things about saddle hunting is it just... If you're a tinker or an inventor or a gadget guy, there's so many accessories and there's so many modifications you can do to personalize it. And so you're always changing, always looking for a way to do things more efficiency or make things lighter or easier to do out in the field. So that's just another um, 
kind of aspect of it that's kind of fun to do. So anyway, like and subscribe and got any comments, leave them below. I'm looking for suggestions all the time.